stage of the knit along. We're now finished the yoke. You can see we have the right side and the left side finished. That's our seam down here. When we block it, this is going to open up a bit so it'll become a little more obvious because the ribbing obviously contracts an awful lot before it's washed. But with a little bit of blocking, it'll be a small bit more open like this. This is the front because it's narrower. And this is the back. I've put stitches for one shoulder on hold over here and stitches for the other shoulder on hold over here. Now, what I'm actually going to show you here is how to kind of alternate your skeins and different things you need to think about. What I did for this, for the right side, I used one skein and then when I finished it, I put it on hold and I just marked it with the label right. And then I joined a second skein over here and when I finished it, I also label that one left and I'm going to put that one in hold. And that means when I come back to do the sleeves, you want these to continue right out. And so I'm going to do the right sleeve with the right skein and the left sleeve with the left skein. And that means that when we start for the body, I'm going to use a third skein. So for the body, what we're actually going to do is you'll be picking up stitches with the right side facing all the way along here. And then you're going to knit down to just, um, there'll be a few inches depending on the size you're working where you're going to knit straight just with one side until you get to the underarm. Then you'll put the stitches on hold and you'll do the same thing with the back, picking the stitches up, knitting down, and then you can join those two together so that you have the whole body joined in the round. And this will be the top of your shoulder on this side and this will be the top of the shoulder over on that side. And at that point, you just work in the round going down. I'm going to use a separate skein for this, but I will use the same one for the front and the back. And then when I reach the point where there's probably about a quarter of it left when I'm working in the round, I'm going to go and start alternating between the two of them so that I don't have any jog in the two colors. When we get to that stage, I can show you a little bit of different options we can use for alternating helical stripes being a very useful one that I've just recently discovered. So we'll talk a bit more about that when we get to that stage.